This workout is for time. It is 30 power cleans at 225 pounds for the men and 155 pounds for the women. At the top of each minute, including the first minute, you must perform six bar facing burpees. This workout is in week six of our open prep cycle in TDD Compete. It is all about barbell cycling under fatigue. If you have been doing CrossFit for a while, you know how important it is to be able to do moderate load power cleans and power snatches. We've seen it both in the open and in quarterfinals. And so over the next couple of weeks, we're going to give you some exposure so that you're ready for it if it comes out either in the open or in the quarterfinal test. Let's go check out the workout. All right, we're about to rock and roll with Coach Mia demoing the workout. This is a part of our strength progression in week six of this open prep cycle. For those that know they're going to make a quarterfinal, this style of workout is really important to start practicing, and that's why we're putting it in. You'll notice on Wednesdays, sometimes on Mondays, kind of varying it, where you're going to do some barbell cycling, and today it's heavy power clean. So just a quick note, Mia's demoing this at 155 pounds, and that's what's in the program. However, there's a little caveat there that says if you cannot – clean 155 or 225 for males, you would do 70 to 75% of your 1RM. And then at the start of each minute, you'll do the six bar facing burpees. So purpose of workouts like this, we're trying to work on barbell cycling. You can consider this just strength endurance work, but you can think back to the quarterfinal workouts or other semifinal or sectional workouts in the past where there's a moderate load barbell and you have to lift it over and over again and work on your repeatability. Think about the last couple of years with the heavy power snatches into burpee box jump overs or even snatch ladders or power clean ladders or squats clean ladders. All of those different variations will come out again. And so having some practice there, not just doing a 1RM snatch or a 1RM clean, but also doing some repeatability work like this. Mia's technique on the burpees is a little bit different than the way that I would prefer to see someone do it. But Mia's talked about this in the past. Like for her, she's practiced to get the shoulders down to the ground, get your hips, and then press back up. It's just a little inefficient for her. She feels like her, her heart rate gets too high. So when we, she gets back to the burpees, we'll talk about it again. But I really like to see people shoulders down first, then hips, and then they press aggressively with their arms. Kind of, It's almost like a worm back up. And for those that have been with us for a while, you've seen some demo videos that I've done on the burpee. One of the things that Mia does a great job of on the power cleans is as soon as she's getting it off her shoulders, she's not even moving her feet. She's just dropping the bar right back to the ground and then bending over and picking it up again. And then the other thing, and Mia talks about this all the time in our throwdown videos, is instead of setting up where it's like one hand then the next hand, she's bringing both hands down to the barbell and grabbing it immediately. It just, little things like that seem silly, but it saves so much time. So going back to the burpee, you'll see that as she jumps over the bar, she's kind of like hip and then shoulder and then press back up. This works. There are a lot of people that do this that are really efficient at burpees, but I would suggest trying the shoulders to the ground, then hips and press back up. I know that, again, that seems kind of silly or like, what's the point, but little breathe, little pieces like that can allow you to breathe a little bit better and get you off the ground a little bit faster, but it's going to be dependent on the person, your limb length and all of that. The other really cool thing that she's doing or a really good thing that Mia's doing is getting right to the barbell from the burpees. I think in a workout like this, let's just say something, uh, it was a death by workout or power cleans and burpees in a workout. Anytime you transition from one movement to the next, I would suggest getting onto the next movement immediately and then slowing yourself down as needed in the movement. So instead of taking that long break before power cleans, try to get on it, do your one rep, and then if you need to slow yourself down after that, it's much easier to transition to a new movement and go right away as opposed to keeping one movement fast the entire time. So this is going to be, I, 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 I want to say she's in her 20s, somewhere in the 20s on the power cleans already. So she's moving pretty fast. And um, she's starting with her six burpees. Again, the, the same technique every single time. The, the one thing that I'll point out here is that she's switching her feet each time. So I think that that's important when you're doing bar facing burpees or anything where you're jumping and going back and forth, bar, burpee box jump overs. Go left leg up, then right leg, left leg up, right leg. It's going to help you be a little bit more efficient. And I think it's just good for health and longevity. She's keeping the exact same pace on these power cleans, which is awesome. I mean, she's getting right back down to the ground, picking it back up. She's really good at barbell cycling, especially at these moderate loads. So I think most people probably make this look a little bit more difficult, but you, you can tell she, I think she's getting close to 30 here. She's really fighting the clock, looking at it, and that was, that was 30. Boom. And that's one quick note. If you know that you're at the end of a minute in this workout, push yourself, even try to do a touch-and-go set to finish. Mia, great job. <laughs>